Hi guys, I welcome you all to EduTap and here is another lecture under your 5 MCQs a day. So uh, today we have the topic Satat Initiative. Now this is a very important topic and it's a scheme basically which has, which has been recently launched and it is going to be a very important part of ESI. Now this video is going to be useful in RBI Grade B, NABAD Grade A as well as SEBI Grade A. And before proceeding, let me just quickly tell you about the various courses which are being offered by us. So we, uh, we have SEBI Grade A, RBI Grade B and NABAD Grade A. And we also have IBPS AFO video course as well as the test series. And about this particular lecture, let me tell you that it is going to be helpful in the phase 2 of SEBI as well as RBI and phase 1 plus phase 2 of NABAD because uh, ESI is an important part in NABARD in both the phases. And let me just tell you about our previous results since we have been working in this field from quite some time now and we have been blessed with some brilliant results. So in RBI Grade B 2017, 27 of our students could make it to the final list. So 27 EduTapians uh, were there in RBI Grade B. Then NABARD Grade A, the 20 got selected in the final list. And let me tell you, only 46 generalist seats were there out of which 20 have been taken by EduTapians. And the RBI Grade B 2018, the phase 2 result has been recently announced and we have been confirmed with 220 plus selections in the phase 2. So uh, we are expecting a great result even here. Okay, so let us now start with today's topic which is Satat Initiative. Now this is related to your sustainable development and uh, you have to try and solve the questions if you know the answer and uh, do not forget to mark your score and mention them in the comment section below. So let us just start. And our very first question from the topic is which of the following ministry or ministries recently launched the sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation that is Satat initiative to set up the compressed biogas production plants and make it available in the market. So uh, read the question carefully it is asking which of the ministries has launched the initiative. So uh, the options are Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Petroleum and Natural Gas, Skill Development and Initiative, is it both two and three, that is both of these, or do you think that all three have collaborated and launched this initiative? So uh, you have to answer it. And our answer to this question is option number four. So uh, the Union Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas and Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, these two have together launched an initiative with the PSU oil marketing companies. Now see this initiative has been launched by both these ministries collaboratively. So it is basically about expression of interest from the potential in entrepreneurs has been invited. That means that to set up the CBG plants and make it available, potential entrepreneurs have been invited and CBG production plants and then making it available for the market is the motive of this scheme. So uh, the initiative holds great promise from uh, for efficient municipal solid waste management as you know that there is a lot of solid waste and there is no management process which is there in India. So this scheme is going to tackle that particular problem and uh, use of CBG that is compressed biogas will also help them on the bringing on crude uh, dependency on the crude oil imports. So as you know India is the importer of crude oil and the maximum import is of crude oil and then of gold so that actually leads to a current account deficit widening and that is why it is also being addressed here so these are some important things about this satat initiative let us move you uh, move on to second question Question number two is compressed biogas can be used as an alternative renewable automotive fuel and an initiative called Satat has been recently launched by the government. Now this initiative is going to benefit which of the following? So this is asking about the group which is going to benefit from this Satat initiative and if you have not read about it, it becomes difficult to answer it directly. Let us just try and solve it. Is it two-wheeler vehicle users, 
फोर व्हीलर व्हीकल यूजर्स एंटरप्रेन्योर्स फार्मर्स और ऑल ऑफ दी अबाव ओके लेट मी टेल यू दैट इफ यू नो व्हाट दिस सतत इनिशिएटिव इज अबाउट यू कैन इवन गिव अ गेस हियर दैट इफ व्हीकल यूजर्स आर बीइंग बेनिफिटेड देन इट डज नॉट मेक्स अ डिफरेंस वेदर इट इज टू और फोर सो दीज टू आर गोइंग टू बी देयर वी हैव जस्ट सीन दैट एंटरप्रेन्योर्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस पर्टिकुलरली सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द आंसर एंड सो फ्रॉम दीज थ्री ऑप्शन यू कैन से दैट फार्मर्स विल ऑल्सो बी बेनिफिटेड थ्रू द सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट सो आर ऑप्शन हियर Five is correct. So it is aimed at providing sustainable alternative. That means the alternative which is sustainable towards the affordable transportation. So though transportation is there, but it is not only going to help the ones who use transportation, rather also to the farmers and entrepreneurs. So. Uh, CBG plants which are going to be set up under this initiative have the potential to boost the availability of transport fuels and agriculture residue would be used in a better way cattle dung would be used and municipal solid waste would also be used here so just go through this once some important facts i have mentioned here additional revenue to farmers would be provided and the government is planning to set up around 5000 cbg plants in next 5 years so that is government is in the mission mode regarding the compressed biogas plants and uh, a uh, production off take guarantee is also being given by the government so that means government is going to provide a kind of guarantee for these plants question number 3 is compressed biogas plants under under satat initiative are proposed to be set up by now this is very important and it is asking about who of the following are actually the ones who are going to set up the projects that is the biogas plants so is it respective state governments that means where the plant is going to be set up ministry of new and renewable energy public private partnership model is going to be used here individual entrepreneurs are going to be uh, the ones who set up or community based organizations just try and solve it if you know it or give it a try on the basis of two questions which we have done earlier and our answer here is option number 4 that is individual entrepreneurs so the potential for cbg production from various sources is estimated at about 62 million tons per annum so that is a huge amount so cbg plants are going to be set up under the satat initiative and individual and independent entrepreneurs under this initiative would be the ones who set up this plant so uh, the entrepreneurs would be able to separately market the bio products from these plants so that is a kind of incentive for them bio manure carbon dioxide whatever they want to they can market them and important thing is that there is no restriction on the technology choice that that means whatever technology the person wants to utilize he can he is he or she is free to utilize that particular technology so also the oil marketing companies have been uh, signed up in this particular agreement of the ministries where fuel station networks would also be used for the marketing of this green transport fuel so these are some very important takeaways from this particular question question number 4 is government of india earlier in this year 2018 had launched a scheme to convert cattle dung and solid waste in farms to cbg and compost so which of the following is this scheme so this is a not a direct question from satat initiative rather it is very much related to it you have to try and solve it is it waste to compost bio energy gobardhan jawaharlal nehru solar mission or biogas based power generation program and our answer here is gobardhan yojana so gobardhan yojana was launched earlier in this year galvanizing organic bio agro resources 
so this is about the govardhan yojana it the scheme basically proposes to cover 700 projects across the country in the coming year and uh, the program is going to be funded under the swachh bharat grameen mission so swachh bharat grameen we have recently covered swachh bharat abhiyan you can refer to that video in case you're not aware about particularly this mission the two components are there grameen and urban so in the grameen component this project's Go uh, gobardhan is going to be funded and uh, also ministry of new and renewable energy has notified the central financial assistance to particularly this project and our last question is compressed biogas is considered similar to the commercially available natural gas that is cng so what is the content of pure methane in it now this is again a very important question because recently government has decided to expand the cbg production and usage so that is why it is so much in news nowadays the question is asking about the content of pure methane is it over 95 percent 80 50 90 percent or do you think it's just 10 percent try and solve this and our answer to this question is option number one that is over 95 percent so compressed biogas is basically considered exactly similar to the natural gas which is commercially available and it is produced naturally through the process of anaerobic decomposition from the waste and biomass now see anaerobic uh, decomposition is required and biomass because india has the highest population of livestock in the world so we have a lot of availability of the biomass we have the dungs then stubbles are there so all these can be utilized which will be useful for the farmer as well as for the uh, vehicle sector also so after purification it is compressed and finally the gas is known as the cbg the content is over of methane is over 95 percent so you can just go through this once this is very important and uh, these are your answers you can just tally your score and uh, please mention in the comment section below and also i would like to tell you that any other information you want to add on here you think which is relevant and has been missed you can just mention in the comment section below and uh, we can even come up with another video with the, uh, the things which have been missed up you just need to mention there below and uh, uh, please note down your score also so that's it guys so we have covered a very important topic under your esi section related to current affairs particularly and in case you guys have any query related to the courses which are being offered by us or the examinations particularly you can just drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutab.co.in i will also recommend you to go and visit our website www.edutab.co.in our contact number is 8146207241 you can whatsapp us or call us as per your convenience and uh, i really hope this lecture was useful to you and if you find the content useful uh, please uh, do not forget to like and subscribe and do share the video and uh, this is the link of our telegram channel you will be able to avail the pdf of this lecture from uh, this channel it will be helpful for you in your revision so that's it guys i wish you all a very happy learning Thank you.